Hello everyone, this is DD Witcher one here on Jimmy Master Animatronics, and today what I'm reviewing for you is a prototype version of the Jimmy 2015 animated talking skeleton. Now this item is actually very hard to come by in general. I'm pretty sure they were only sold at a store called Christmas Tree Shops, which not too many states have. I know a lot more nowadays have them. But even though it says Christmas Tree Shops in the name, they do sell Halloween. And this was an item that they picked up. And I believe a couple of private Halloween stores would have gotten this item as well. But this has a few differences from the produced version. The main difference is the paint job on it, because the produced one has pretty much a solid colored head. I mean, there's a few little details with the different lines and whatnot on the skull itself. But this one has a lot of, you know, paint and detailing on it. And there's, there is also an IM number sticker on the back of it, which I'll show you in a second. And then there is a red circle on it, which I believe the red circle is used instead of a QC pass sticker to show that there are things with it that are going to be changed with the produced version. Now, this is not a resin item because, you know, they've already made, you know, the the hanging skeletons with this kind of body for years and this is just a little head so they probably just this is probably a later down the line prototype um, I'll go ahead and show you the back here so as you can see there's the item number 54609 and that is a very you know t firmly put on sticker because you can see the battery cover underneath it like they push down really hard with this for some reason and then there's the red sticker to show that it is not final. I again, I believe that's what that's for. Now, I was told by Retro School, because he had the produced one of this, that the screws in the neck are assembled a little differently than the produced one, I believe. I think he said that that was a little different. So there's, there's minor differences. I only have, I have three small problems with this item. And they're not really big deals at all, because I, I like it a lot. And also, the biggest thing about this item is that it actually has the original rapping baller audio. So, you know, the phrases like, you know, please make yourself at home. The master will be about shortly. And things like that. Um, those phrases in the original butler voice are actually in this skeleton, which is pretty neat. And that kind of shows that one of the main reasons they made this item is just so that, you know, people that like the older items would buy it so they could have the audio. <laughs> I think that's one of the main reasons they made it, honestly. Um, but it's a fairly simple and neat item, but it has that really classic voice, which I love about it. But one of my main concerns with this item that I don't like is just that it's... And anything with this kind of skull head, because they've used it on a lot of items, um, it's just, it's kind of difficult to access the batteries. First of all, getting this to come off, it's a little tricky the way they designed it. And then you have to really kind of dig in there to get the batteries out. So I definitely recommend a small flathead screwdriver to remove those. Like if I just tried to use my fingernail, then it would not end well. But yeah, the battery cover is shaped like the head. Another thing about it that it's really a, not really a noticeable thing, but, and you know, Jimmy does this with so many of their items. This has to go on again, which is kind of hard. There we go. You know, what they'll do is they'll use different materials for different parts of the body. So, like, as you can see, the head and the neck are a very different material than the rest of the body. And I wish that they could be the same material, but it's honestly a very minute uh, difference that's barely noticeable at all. So, I don't really mind it too much. It's just, you know, they could have just used the same stuff and it would have been a lot better. And then the third thing, which may only be on this prototype version, I think it's not nearly as bad on the produced version, I could be wrong, is that the mouth is very noisy, like it, it clacks. And it also makes a noise when it goes down. But as you can hear, it's very loud when it does that. And this item is typically meant to hang up, so I'll go ahead and pick it up. So it's going to look like this, when you have it hanging kind of has his, uh, his hips going up here a little bit. <laughs> um, well, and that does make it easier for him to sit down, because you can also display him. Sorry, his legs are kind of catching on the chair here. 
But you can also display him in a sitting position. Doesn't look as good in my opinion, but you can do that as well. Everything is connected with little key rings. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about it and show you. So without further ado, I will press this abnormally long charming button that came with it. Yeah, as you can tell, the mouth is very loud, and I was actually holding it by the button for a while. I don't know if you noticed, because his mouth moves a lot, and it was actually making him fall over. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty neat item. As for it having, like, you know, an EEPROM or prototype -y kind of circuit board setup, I have not actually opened the head. Um, given that this is not made of resin or anything, which may just be because of the factory it's from, because of this material. Um... I don't know if it's got a, like a produced board in it or not. I would think it doesn't, but it may actually have one. One thing I did notice that I don't know if is, is the case in the produced models is at the end of the phrase, the eyes kind of stay lit for a little bit. You can also hear a little pop from the speaker at the end of each phrase. So again, those are little small things that I don't really know are different on the if they're not, if they're different on the produced one or not. But yeah, guys, this is a really neat item. Like I said, I'm really glad that I have it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of it. I know people have been requesting videos of my prototypes. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.